Is Murray Station haunted? Yes, it is. 100%. This is kind of like something out of a horror movie right here. What in the world? We've uh, had apparitions, shadow people. We've had doors open and close on their own. At nighttime, this place comes alive. I have chills. That was full on f***ing footsteps. I thought I heard a really weird voice say Satan. Hold on. Can you explain the bones that were found under this floor? That was so cool. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen to this. What am I listening for? Whoa. Dave, we are on our way to Brookside, Brooksville, Brooks what? Brooksville. Brooksville, Kentucky. Brooksville, everybody, we're in Brooksville, Kentucky. We're really excited for this one because we were invited out by the owners of this house, which is a house of significant age. I mean, it is built atop a log cabin that apparently was constructed in the 1790s. This place has so much paranormal activity, so many hauntings, and so many things that people have experienced there that Marshall and Jada contacted us and said, you have to come here and investigate because this place is active. At times it can be terrifying and it is a very fascinating haunted location. I'm excited to get down here and check this one out. They have been asking us for weeks and weeks to come out and film at this place. So there's gotta be something cool going on here. There has to be something and it is less than a mile away up here somewhere buried in these Kentucky trees. We're gonna come upon this house. I think maybe right here, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Here we go. Is this it? Wow, this road is creepy. No trespassing security cameras. I think this is it. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Wow. Look at how creepy this is. What in the world? Wow. This is kind of like something out of a horror movie right here. You ready for this? I am ready. This is so cool. This is the experience that we at Paranormal Quest dream of. Oh yeah. So excited for this. Well, what do you think, Dave? Do you want to head inside here to see exactly what paranormal activity and hauntings wait inside this historic home? I'm ready. Let's get in there. Let's meet up with Marshall and Jada and see what we can find tonight here at the Murray Station Homestead. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. back in the 1700s, the, uh, it was deeded to the Murray family and they used it as a way station. This was a store. It was Murray Station Homestead. There was people who crossed through here at the Walcott Bridge. They'd come here to trade. And, uh, you know, it was more like a, a cultural hub of a place here in Northern Kentucky. The house was constructed as the cabin, the original log cabin in the 1700s. The outer house was not added until the 1850s. Is Murray Station haunted? Yes, it is. 100%. This house is creepy. And I mean, we just had some rain hit, so it's very spooky and ominous to hear that rain over the roof of this place, I think that this house has so much history that it's no wonder it's haunted. I mean, this place is one of the oldest houses that we've investigated. The energy here is very, very interesting. Yeah, I am really excited for this one. When we rolled up on this place, it was like the family was still here. I don't know any of the history about this. You've been talking to Marshall about it and 
I don't know. It was just like they were still here. That felt like there were still people out in the yard, still roaming through the house. This is a gym. I think this is going to be a really good night. Well, it's interesting that you say that, Dave. Before we walk through, because Marshall told me something very interesting. And what he told me was the Murray family had it in their will that they did not want this homestead to be sold out of the Murray family. In the original will, Mr. Murray stated that the family was to never sell the land out of the Murray clan. It was in the Murray clan for over 200 years and just recently was sold out of it. So it's interesting that you said that. Kind of gives me chills to think about because <laughs> whew, all my hair's standing up. But that is what they said, what, what Marshall told me is that maybe part of the reason why they have an aggressive force that they believe has driven people out of this house, scared people out of this house is because the house has been sold out of the Murray family when they never intended it to be. That is, that is very interesting. Like I said, I did not know anything about that. So that is kind of strange. First time I ever walked in Murray Station is my number one experience. It was me, my daughter Shelby, Becky, and Brian. They're the homeowners. And they were giving us a tour of the property. And we went up to the children's room and I seen Becky me and my daughter were standing on side by side of the closets. Becky went to open the door to the closet and it jerked so violently black closed that it almost put her shoulder out of socket. And I seen that with my own eyes. That was the first time I ever walked in here. It's crazy to think because this staircase, everything, this is an 1800s home. But the minute that you step through these doors right here and into this room, you're now in a 1700s log cabin. And you can just see wow. the shift, can't you? Oh yeah. Very rustic, looks pretty original in here. It does, and another thing that Marshall did tell me is that when he and the owner, Brian, were doing work here, he was underneath of the floor here trying to shore up the floor to make sure that it was sturdy. And when he looked underneath, he saw bones underneath this cabin. Really? Now under the cabin floor back here, me and Brian had, uh, Brian had moved the rocks and seen bones back there underneath the floorboards of the, the cabin. I didn't, we didn't, they may have been, let's say animal bones, you know, but there are bones under there. Either way, it's a little bit bizarre that there are bones underneath of the floor of this cabin, especially underneath of this back part of the, the house that was the oldest. That is creepy. Yeah, I don't know if maybe back in the 1700s, maybe when somebody died, they just, they kept them close and buried them close. Yeah. I'm, or, not, I'm not sure. Or it could have been for cooking, maybe when they made their meals. They used livestock, most of the food back then was personally sourced. So maybe that's the bones of the animals, the chickens, the pigs, the cows that they, they had eaten and, and cooked over here in this small little kitchen. When they were done with the bones, they just threw them back to the earth. Who Could knows? Be. So, but you want to walk up these stairs into the second floor? Not really, but, <laughs> but let's go. The energies here will be playful, such as in the, in the children's room, but it can go from a split second and you know something shuts them down like like something dominant over them so i know that there are dominant spirits here and i know that there are children spirits here you know so this place uh, it's almost like a gathering place for spirits along this road are you feeling something oh absolutely Right in, the, right in this area here. And I tell you what, this would be the perfect spot yeah. for an abandonment camera because I mean, if you look straight through like that, if you set a camera right here, you can see all the way through to the front of the house. So from the slave quarters back here, all the way through to the front of the house, be the perfect place to have a camera to possibly catch shadow figures, apparitions, who knows? This would be a great place for an abandonment camera. 
the county road out here, there's a sign up on it now, it says Becky Lane, but the county road used to go through here. And uh, we have been told that when the double A highway was put in, they couldn't stop the creek up, so they had to divert it. And like I said, what well, we've been told that there was a unmarked graveyard that was just bulldozed out of the way to divert the creek. There's a, there's a room right up here. But I think we need to go see because there's one doll in this house that freaks Marshall out and it's in this room. Of course. That doll has a special place here at Murray Station. It is a, it is a doll that has moved by itself quite numerous times and been witnessed by many, many people. 4-H groups, softball teams have literally seen that doll move on its own. Whether the spirit is attached to the doll or not, they're not sure, but they do know that something in this room has moved that doll on many occasions. And I tell you, if that doll moves on its own, that would be wild. It would be. So if there's anyone in here, anyone who continuously moves this doll, now would be the time to move it. Or if you prefer to do it later, you can move at any time tonight. If you don't like an audience, you can move it while we're gone here in a little bit. But there's one room, Dave, that I want to show you. Okay. A room that's downstairs that I think we might want to make use of tonight. Okay. You're freaking me out. <laughs> what is this? It's a room specifically for the Estes Method. Really? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Let's go check it out. Let's. At the daytime here at the at the creek over here, there's a swimming hole where kids swim. This is a place of joy in the daytime. But at nighttime, this place comes alive. We've uh, had apparitions, shadow people. We've had doors open and close on their own. That's the evidence without the equipment. But when you bring equipment in here, it lights up. We walked right by it and you didn't even know. By the cricket? No, the room. Oh. oh, this is the room. Yes, they have a mirror placed right here on the door that you can either, if you don't want to be blindfolded, it's perfect for scrying. Ooh. You could stare into the mirror while you do the Estus to see what you see. There's a chair just set in this little closet in this little pantry. Whose turn is it? I think it's yours, isn't it? Oh, of course it is. <laughs> Great. Get to go into the spider den. You get to go into the spider den, listen to the spirit box, and I can close you in, and guess what, when you're in there, it's latched on the outside, so I'll only let you out when I want to. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait. The house itself is haunted and it sits on haunted land across from a cemetery that was disturbed surrounded by two strong energy sources who knows what could happen tonight and i tell you when the sun goes down on murray station homestead and it gets dark if we thought it was already a horror movie when we pulled up <laughs> it's gonna get really creepy here and i'm excited for it there are a lot of ingredients here for a haunting, and I say it's time we shut off these cameras, get abandonment set up, and see what happens while we're gone and get back here for hopefully what is a fantastic investigation. So, if you guys haven't done it yet, hit that like button for us. Let's see if we can get this one up to 6,500 likes, and then we'll do something really cool for Halloween. What do you think, Ryan? I think we need to do something really cool for Halloween. So let's get this episode to 6,500 thumbs up. Let's start abandonment. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we have all of the cameras set up throughout Murray Station Homestead. And we are gonna leave for about an hour to see what occurs when this beautiful house is completely empty. Completely empty. Now we have four cameras set up in their respective areas, the first of which is right here in what's probably a parlor. 
maybe a living room. Off to this side of the frame, you can actually see the front stairs that lead up to the second floor just on the edge there, as well as this doorway on the other edge of that frame. And we have a piccolo, the EMF music box. If EMF comes into contact with that, it will play music as a tone. So if anyone is here, you wanna hear some music, put some energy into that box and it could play you a tune. Now, in the back of the house, the oldest part of the house, that log cabin. Oh yeah. We have a camera set up pointing out through this hallway that leads straight to the front door. We have a REM pod set up in the doorway. So if anything moves between the old log cabin section and this new house, that's gonna set off, that's gonna alarm, and we'll know that someone was there. We will know, and there's also a cat ball in there. Hey, maybe one of the children that used to live in that cabin will wanna play with the cat ball. Maybe. On the second floor, we have a camera back in the slaves' quarters, pointed from that far back room all the way out into the living quarters, all the way to the top of the stairs here that you can see from the back of the house to the front of the house. We have the EMF trip wire, the paranormal trip wire set up as well as the spirit pod, as well as some motion sensors all through that second floor. If anything moves in there, we're gonna know it. We will know. And then of course, one of our favorite parts of the house up on that top floor is that creepy, creepy doll. So we have a camera set up in that room along with the paranormal music box, which I just realized I haven't turned on and I have to go turn that on before we leave. Yes. So before we do the we're leaving, I'm gonna have to go flip that on. Oh yeah. We have a paranormal music box in there as well as in a mel meter right beside that doll that we have a uh, digital voice recorder recording for EVPs while we're gone right there with that doll. Mm -hmm. If something likes that doll, we have all the cameras and equipment to try and prove there's energy with it. So are you ready to leave the Murray Homestead? Not yet. Not yet. But are you ready to leave the Murray Station homestead completely empty after we switch on that paranormal music box? Absolutely. Let's go and do it. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and leave. Dave, you wanna give your we're leaving to this camera? I guess. Oh, shut up. I'm trying to do something here. Let's go. That's good. If there are any spirits in the Murray homestead, any of the Murray family, we want you to come out and make yourself known in your own home. We've set up a bunch of toys and stuff here for you. Ready? Yes.
We're back. We're back. Oh. Did you do anything? Any of the Murrays here? All right, we're coming in to get that last camera. Can you knock that doll over for us? Push it over. Unless the doll's already pushed over. It is not. The doll is not pushed over. <laughs> Turning off music box. I'd love for you to push that doll o over. Ending. Let's sit down here and listen to that. So we're going to listen back to this audio recorder. It is voice activated, so while we're gone, if there's any voices that come through, we won't have to listen to the full hour of abandonment to know if this recorder caught anything or if anything happened in this room. for abandonment if there's if you want to talk to that silver box right there get really up close to the doll and see if you can knock uh, knock it over or get really up close to the doll and see if you can knock uh, knock it over or yeah, so from what we understand, from what we can tell, nothing in here. As far as voices, EVPs go, because nothing activated the voice activation or made that go off to record. Mm -mm. So who knows? Maybe none of this equipment went off in here, but we're still going to watch through all the footage. You guys already know if any of this stuff went off while we were gone. Who knows? Maybe that action cam pointed at the mail meter and the doll caught something. Perhaps. But we do think we hear a voice as we're setting up yes so to me it kind of sounded like it said the word chair which is interesting yeah there's a chair right over here there's a chair right there very strange very bizarre very bizarre so we are going to set up the cameras probably grab the sls camera and do an sls sweep of the second floor Maybe end in this doll room and see if there's anything that wants to communicate with us in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if anyone from the Murray Station Homestead wants to communicate with us. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Sucks getting old, y'all. Goodbye. We're gonna go upstairs and do an SLS sweep of the second floor. Ending in the doll room, hopefully, to maybe make communication with whoever that is that seems to be moving that doll, whoever seems to be slamming doors in this house, whoever seems to be startling the people who come in here to investigate. So currently we have a camera, three cameras technically on the second floor. A camera pointed from the slave quarters down that long hallway. A camera pointed from the front bedroom across towards that doll bedroom and another camera on that doll 
in case it moves. Because we've had before where we've had things move or things that have been reported to have been moved that we're not sure whether they actually moved or not. We want to watch that doll as much as we can. Yes, we've got... Uh... We've got the doll in the Amy's Crypt Circle of Doom. That's right. Shout out to Amy's Crypt. We are using the Circle of Doom idea. We're coming upstairs. The cricket's definitely in this room. Yes. We're coming up. It just flashed very quickly for a second. It looked like someone was standing over here. Oh, really? Yeah, like very, very fast as I was getting ready to point the camera up the stairs. It flashed right behind where that something's hanging there, but it was behind where that's hanging, like someone was standing in that corner watching us. Is there somebody standing by the fireplace? Front. Front. Are you in front of us here? I heard that. It sounded like movement upstairs. It did. Follow us upstairs. We'll come down here in a little bit and talk to you. This is where it becomes very difficult, an uncoordinated guy walking in the darkness with an SLS camera up the smallest staircase in the entire house. Hello? Okay. I'm up. Is there anyone back here that was enslaved by the Murray family? My name is Ryan and this is Dave and we've come with the utmost respect and we'd love to talk to you. You have a beautiful home. We'd love to know who you are and why you're here. <coughs> Move it. Move what? You can move it yourself, whatever it is you want moved. We won't be mad. This is your house after all. What? I don't know, I just got the chills. Like I got spider web sensation, but it's, this is gonna sound weird, but it's on my earlobes. Oh wow. Like nowhere else but my earlobes. Mr. Murray, James Murray, are you upset that the house didn't stay in the family, that the land, the homestead is now owned by someone else? We heard that was in your will. If that's upsetting to you, can you let us know by moving a door or knocking on something? Still feeling it? Yeah. Can you stand in front of me? On the stairs, we want to know if you're here with us. We want to know what happens to us after we pass away. Can you still hear and see us? If you can still see us or hear us, can you touch one of these strange lights or make something that we set up, play music? 
Are you on the stairs? Or if you really want to send us a message, can you knock that doll over? You know the doll. Marshall told us that he saw you knock it over when he was in the room. Come outside. Come outside. We might later, but can you come inside? Walking in this room. Hear that music? You can make it do that too. You wanna try? Wayne. Wayne. We'll have to look and see if there's any Waynes on the descendants of the Murrays. Wayne? Are you one of the Murrays? Come outside. Again? Again, come outside. Over to the swing? All right, well, we'll leave this stuff in here for you. Then we're gonna, we're gonna, I guess we'll go ahead and come outside then. But we'll be back to come into this doll room. Can you touch those lights for us? Okay, outside we go. We're doing what you ask, we're coming outside. So while we're outside, we want you to knock that doll over. Follow you. You can follow us outside if you'd like. Don't forget to do what we asked and knock that doll over, please. You can show the world that you can still hear us after we pass on. We're gonna be out here when they have to turn that air conditioner off. It's really loud out here. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> what is this? It's a camera. You can stand in front of it and it'll take your portrait. You've never heard of a camera if that was before your time. It'll capture you and what you look like. When they built that road up there, did they disturb your grave? Do you like that swing right there? Can you go sit in it? Make it move? Whoa. What? I just happened to look away and look back and I saw something was mapped behind it. Can you push that swing for us? But it disappeared as soon as it mapped. Really? Or as soon as I saw it, so I couldn't figure out what, what it was. You asked us to come outside and here we are. Rolling EVP session, this is outside of the Murray Homestead. Placing the recorder right here on the swing. All right, I set a light down there for you. Foolish. Foolish. I set a light down there on top of that swing by the tree. You told us through that device there to come outside. Why did you want us to come outside? Can you still hear us? Are you able 
to speak to us. You said follow. Are you following us? Said Tyler. Let me ask you this. If there is life after death, what did you see? If you're not going to do or say anything for us out here, we're going to have to go back in the house. This is your chance here. Give us a message through that red light that I just set down. And then we'll go back inside the house and listen to what you tell us. All right, we're going to grab it. Take it inside. Ending. <laughs> it says, oh my God. What did it say? It said, why? Oh, really? Yeah. Because we're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes out here. It said, why like? Come inside and talk to us. Can you do that? Okay. Okay, well, come on. Let's go inside. That was like a direct response. It was. Like multiple direct responses in a row. Yeah. That was so cool. If these ghost tube responses are more than just coincidence, whoever was telling us to come outside has now agreed to speak to us inside the house. All right, we're back inside. For the entire time that we've been outside, none of the equipment has alarmed and nothing unexplained was captured on any of the cameras. But before we can start to investigate again, we have to review the audio recorder for EVP, or electronic voice phenomena. Placing the recorder right here on the swing. But when we listen, we don't hear anything unexplainable. So it's finally time to enter the doll room. If you need to, you can open that door, walk right in. To see if whoever was so eager to get us to come outside will speak to us inside the house. Setting ghost tube on the chair. Okay. Whoa. What? I don't know if that was a false positive, but after I sat the ghost tube in the chair and I backed up, it mapped something in the chair. Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't even look like it was the whole chair mapped. It looked like it was someone sitting in the chair. Let me try that again. Put ghost tube down and pull back. No, that's literally the exact same angle that I was at too. Put ghost tube down, pull back. It's not mapping it. That's creepy. I'm gonna try one more time because I gotta test this. Let me just go all around the room here. Because a lot of times when it's false positives, it just gets confused. So this is just randomness. Go in, pull back out. No. That's strange. Remember what you said earlier? Yeah. You literally said you felt like it was someone in the chair. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Tripwire? Yeah. Do you like that chair right there? Can you see that ring of pretty purple lights? If you try and pick one of them up, it'll change to a different color. Can we see that? Would you do that for us? Maybe you don't know how to use it. Farther. Maybe you don't know how to use this. What if I showed you how to use this? You just touch it. 
Like that. Does it hurt, Ryan? It doesn't hurt. Whoa. Yeah, get closer to the other one. Can you jump in that circle? And then do that? Do you like that doll? Are you afraid of us men being in here? Please come out and talk to us. Say okay again? Yeah. What did it say? I don't know. It'll what? probably have disappeared by now. What's your name? I'm gonna take this little toy with me. You wanna follow us? You can still talk through it. Tripwire. Greetings. 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 Hello. We've been waiting for someone to come out and talk to us. It's cool that you're saying words through this, but if you made something else happen, if you made something light up, or you made something play music, or you moved something, it would help us to show, it would help show us. Knife. Knife. It would help show us that you're here. We were told by our friend Marshall that the gentleman who owns this place now found bones under the floor of the cabin. Where did those bones come from? We would love to know your name. Okay, I have something back here in this corner. What's back in that corner? A chair. No, behind that chair. A wall. Hello? Who are you? Can you tell us your name? If that's you, can you raise your right hand? Uh, <laughs> he raised it and then he it's reached out and grabbed the chair now. Really? Yes. Well, hi. Please don't be afraid of us. Oh, and it's gone. Hag. 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 Who is it that likes to scare people in here? Yeah, there was definitely someone here and they reached out and they touched the chair. And then, that was kind of strange. Who is it that likes to scare people in here? I'm gonna sit in your chair. How about that? I'm sitting in your chair now. What do you think of that? Do you want to go into the doll room for a second? I can put this SLS down. We can sit in the doll room for a second and try an EVP session. Yeah. And see if anything will come through that way. 
We're back. Can I sit right here on the floor behind the doll? Rolling EVP session doll room at the Murray Station Homestead. Placing the recorder. Oh, that was my fault. That was my fault again. Right there with the doll. Marshall said he doesn't like this room. He said there's someone in here that likes to mess with people. If you're in here, you can use our energy to make something happen. Do you like having multiple visitors now? Come on in this room. Footsteps? I'm not sure. Slowly. Slowly. Come on in. You don't have to be afraid. Is it okay that we're in your house? If you would like for us to leave your house now, let us know by pushing the door shut to this room and we'll leave. Is it okay with you that the current owners of the house are not in the Murray family? That upsets you, make a loud noise. Infant. Infant. All right, I'm gonna end on this and listen to it. Thanks, Dolly. Thank you. That has not gone off. Mm -mm. See, that didn't hurt. Thank you. Record, record, record. Recording EVP. It is all the way up. Do you like that pretty light? Louder. Thank you for finally setting off those lights. Who's come into this room with us? Why are you crying? Chest. 
chased. Chased. Who chased you? Was there conflict on this land? Did you ever run into the tribe that lived here before you? What was that? I don't know. It was that him outside. No, nobody's out there. That sounded like a chair moving. The only, the only per, the only things I see down there are the cats, and that wasn't a cat making that noise. And they're just sitting down there. Okay. Finish this one. Nothing on that one. That was interesting. I can't believe that went off like that right in front of us. I know, because how, how long have we been up here? Like an hour or something? An hour and a half? Probably. So that's crazy that we sat down here and then that went off. I mean. It'd be cool if you could make that go off one more time. Make it light up like you did all those pretty lights. Can you try that for us one more time? I want to come. <laughs> Said I want to come. Sure did. I want to come. Well, how about this? Why don't you come with us downstairs? And we'll put Dave in that tiny little room with that head thing on, the thing over his ears. And you can try and talk to him. I'll be asking you questions and you can tell him your responses. How about that? Uh, it's time for an Estes. Let's go. All right, you ready? I think I'm ready, man. I don't know, this is really creepy, so. <laughs> so here is the lair that Dave is going into right here. He has this little hole in the wall cubby that they made for the Estes session. We're gonna lock him in this cubby here. We'll see if he can hear anything, come up with anything. Now, of course, we're gonna be recording the spirit box as always, so. Anything he hears, you're going to hear it as well. We'll put the word up on screen. So it's going to be documented. And we have a camera down here on this end of the hallway and a camera back in the old cabin section with some equipment to see what happens. So ready, Dave? I'm ready. Let's go ahead and... And I'm not going to be able to get out of here because you can only open this from the outside. I'm that, pretty sure. Yes, there is this latch right here that only allows it to open from the outside. So once I lock Dave in here... 
he's at my mercy until I decide to let him out. Great. That's right. I feel That's like right. this is uh, payback for Airedale. <laughs> what, for you locking me in the body cooler and leaving me? Yes. <laughs> That's right. Let's see how long we can leave him in here. <laughs> Bye, Dave. Bye. And he's in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Headphones are going on now. All right. I'm going to roll on the ovilus. I'm going to turn the ovilus on. All right, my name is Ryan, and I'm here to speak to whoever would like to talk to me. My, my friend Dave is over here in this closet. And he's got some weird things on his head. I'd love for you to be able to talk to him. Can you go ahead and talk to him for me? What's your name? So I'm gonna go ahead and move the obelisk back here into the cabin section. It's very interesting that I haven't heard Dave say anything yet. Can you please go in there and speak to him? Yes. Inside. Ooh. That's not train. what you want to hear. Gas inside train. Can you tell us your name? Or can you tell us... That's not me. That's pointed at the fireplace. Holy shit. Hello? Oh. Hey, Ryan. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm trying to change this thing to AM, but it's not working. Here, let me see. Like it's not doing anything when I try to change it. How did you get it to do that? I just had to stop the sweep first. I did that. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. But the music box just went off in there. I have it pointing at the fireplace and the music box just went off in there. Oh, room. really? Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna go back in there. Hello? Who was that that just made that go off? Can you stand in front of the fireplace again for me? Dave had to switch frequencies, so I had to help him with that really fast. Is the child here? If the child's here, you can play with the music. Let me just stand where I was. I was like here. I thought I heard a really weird voice say, Satan. Ooh, that's not what you want to hear. Just because we're trying to speak to the dead doesn't mean that we are evil. Who is Satan? Can you tell us? To get this to go off, I have to walk all the way over here. This is where it goes off. So me standing right here where I was, there's, there is no way. Can you tell Dave who is scaring people in this house? Who's knocking things over and slamming doors? Child? It just said child. I said, who's, no who's knocking things over and slamming doors? And it said child. 
Yeah, Marshall told us that there was a child here. What's the child's name? Can you make the music play again? I'll step back. You know, it'd be really fun if you made the music. Cut disease average. <gasps> thank you. Thank you, thank you. That wasn't me. No. Thank you for making the music play. Can you make the music inside the closet with Dave play back there if you get close to that box that's behind him with the red lights? Tripwire. If you get close to that in there, it'll light up and play music. Tim. Is there a child? that just plays pranks on people, or is there someone that is angry? Caress. Is there a child that's angry here? Or is there someone else that's angry that's making things move, or is the child just playing pranks? I'd love to be able to see you. Shop. Boy. Boy. I've heard the word Satan come through probably 13, 14 times. 13? Did he just say 13 or 14 times? Who? Possibly. Over our possibly. I missed the first word that came through. Who keeps saying Satan? I just heard it again. Okay. That may scare some people, but it's not going to scare us out of here. So who are you really? And again? Again? Alright, I'm not in there anymore. Can you make that go off again for me? Small room or my room? Mm. Is that your room? Did someone lock you in that small closet there? Are you the child that's been seen here or are you James Murray? Hey, listen to this. I'm listening. What am I listening for? What am I listening for? Thank you. It said, hey, listen to this. And then the music box started going off. Whoa. That's only the third time it's gone off. Thank you. Yeah, listen to that. Do you like that thing? Tell Dave if you like that thing.
Uh, Riot? Yeah. The S box just shut off. It just shut off? Yeah. Wait a minute, what did that say? It said Dragon Rust. Like completely, is it dead? It completely shut off. What the hell? This S box has never, ever run out of battery. No. And let me see here. It's never run out of battery by itself. And the thing is, is that even if it did run out of battery, it's been charged. Yeah. So it's only been running for like what now? I don't even know. Like I've been recording on this camera for 17 minutes, so not even fi like 15 minutes that's been going. And when it chart, when it's fully charged, it lasts multiple investigations. Oh yeah. But you know what's really creepy? What? Right after you said, "Listen to this." Yeah. Literally within 10 seconds or 15 seconds, maybe less. I was not keeping track of time, but within a very short period of time, the music box went off. Really? And continued to go off the longest it's gone off since, you know, yet. Really? Yeah. It just continually, it shut off for a second, then it started back up again, and then it just shut off and hasn't gone off since. But it said, you said, listen to this. And then the music box started to go. Oh, wow. Which was really creepy. Is it still going off? No. Oh, wow. It hasn't, it shut off by itself, and it hasn't gone off again. Xbox. FM. It's dead. Yeah, literally it fully charged Xbox. when we started Gaming. this. FM. And dude, look at that. It's it's flashing battery dead. We've had that S box for years and it's done. And it has never died. Never. Mm-mm. Because we always keep it fully charged. Yeah. He, I'm going to go get the uh, PSB7. Okay. Okay. Mine. Ooh, mine. I'm going to go ahead and shut this again. He shut in. What is yours? You stole all that energy from them. What the f was that? That was a weird noise. You stole all that energy from that box that Dave was using. So you should be able to make something wild happen. Can you do that? Johnny Wicked. Johnny Wicked. Is that who this is? Is this John Murray? That does wicked things to scare people out of here? Stream. Stream. Did you say mine because this is your house? Are you upset that it left the Murray family? They're taking good care of it, you know. Am not. Am not? Hold on. I asked, are you mad that it left the Murray family? And it said, Am not. Wow. Oh, wow. What? What's wrong, Dave? The, the, uh, this spirit box is just too much. Too much? It's just like, it's, it's too, uh, I can't handle this one. It's just, it's just overstimulating. Uh, do you want me to take a turn listening? You can if you want to. 
All right, so Ryan's gonna give it a go. Guys, I'm just not used to that spirit box. I'm used to the S box. Good? Yes, sir, should be good. Okay. Get back. Okay, so Ryan and I have switched places. He is now listening and I'm gonna be asking questions. Who's in here with us? Can you tell me what your name is, please? What is your name? I thought I just heard my name. I thought it just said Ryan. That's interesting. I heard somebody in here was making that music go off. Do you like the sound of that music? I'd like to hear it. Can you come through the radio and tell Ryan why you're here? I thought I may have just heard a man say, help me. Help. What do you need help with? What can we do to help? Can you tell me? What can we do to help you? Are you trapped here in this house? Music, yes. You. I wanna hear that music. Can you play it? Play that music, please. Dead. Dead, is that why you're trapped in this house? If you are trapped here, I'm sorry, but- I thought I just heard a woman that was crying and saying, please. Please what? Can you please answer? What can we do to help? Anything? If you can hear me, ma'am. Can you Hello. tell- Can you tell Ryan what your name is? Hello. Can you tell us your name, please? Are you a member of the Murray family? If you're a member of the Murray family, can you light up these lights on the floor here? Let's so play, kid's voice. Yeah, let's play. What do you want to play with? Which toy do you want to play with? Can you show me? I'm down here. Down where? Can you explain the bones that were found under this floor? Whose bones were those? Don't be afraid now. This is your house. Your homestead, right? If you're still here, still enjoying your homestead, come out and show me. In here. And where? Are you in the main cabin in the old homestead? If you're in the old cabin, the old homestead, can you make the... Can you make the music go come off? Come to bed. Can you make the music play again? Can you do that for me? I'm not really hearing anything else. No? No. That's interesting because nothing has happened out here. Really? Not since I came in? Mm -mm. That's weird because I had that music box going off. 
Maybe something has been following me. Maybe. Do you want to do a solo in here or something? All right, well, I guess I'm going to do a solo here. I'm going to be in the Murray Station homestead completely alone. Here we go. Here we go. Actually, would you mind just really quickly helping me lift this table up and over? Sure. Whoa, wait. Never mind. I was gonna put that on the table, but it appears that someone is really messing with it right there. All right, well, let me grab this camera again. Never mind, I'll leave it there, I guess. All right, well, you ready to head outside, Dave? Oh, yeah. More than ready. Shut nope. up, Cricket. All right, I am heading outside. Ryan is going to be doing his solo in here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Sure that you can handle this? We'll see. Murray Station's pretty creepy. It is. So I'm going to be uh, in here by myself for a little bit and we'll see what happens. Well, good luck to you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Music box. Oh my god. Hello? Literally as soon as he walked out the door. Did you want me in here alone? Who is this? Literally as soon as Dave exited the house. It was like immediate. All right guys, so I finally made it out to the car here. Ryan is inside of the Murray Station homestead by himself and hopefully he's getting some crazy activity while he's in there. It, it seemed like most of the activity was happening while he was investigating and I was either doing the Estes or something else. Um, so hopefully while he is in there by himself he'll get something and when I go back in there to see how he's doing hopefully he can report back with some cool activity. So we will go back in in just a few minutes. If I turn on this box, will you talk to me? This box in my hand right here. I'm gonna take a step back here. I wanna see if you can use this to talk. My name's Ryan, what's your name? Thank you. Do you like those lights? Do you like that music? Wow. I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna step back away from it here. Can you touch the red light beside it? Thank you. If you like that toy, you might like the one on the stair there. Can you touch that red light? Or maybe you like these lights that run down the hallway here. Thank you for that. I'm gonna shut this off because you're not using it to talk. I tell you what, can you make it the music play for yes? And then if, you, if the answer to the question is no, you can just let the music not play. You didn't make anything happen for Dave when he was in here. Do you, do you, uh, did you want me in here alone? Is that why?
Wow. Thank you. Okay, can you step back until I ask the next question? Are you one of the children of the Murray family? No. Are you whoever is buried on this land? Remember, for yes, you make it light up and play the music. I just heard something upstairs. Who's walking around upstairs? I have chills, that was full on f***ing footsteps. For yes, you make it light up and play the music. I just heard something upstairs. Who's walking around upstairs? I have chills, that was full on f***ing footsteps. That was footsteps, so clear upstairs. If you're up there, there's more lights up there. You can push them over or touch them. I heard these footsteps and then asked for whoever is up there to make something happen. And almost immediately, our camera on the second floor begins to malfunction. The autofocus begins shifting. And then the infrared light on top of the camera begins to dim and pulsate. Not flashing, but fading in and out. This could be an explainable and technical malfunction, but the timing is very bizarre. One thing is for sure. Now that I'm alone inside the Murray Station homestead, it seems like the paranormal activity has come to life. I'm gonna go up there, because I have a plan for that doll. I have a big plan for that doll. Since you like to play with that doll, I think I'm gonna move it. Ooh. Let me reset that. I just f***ed up the whole tripwire line. Well, I stepped on the box. I may have to figure this out later. Tripwire's going off for right now. It was my fault. I'm gonna come upstairs while, while I think I heard you up here. I also hear you playing that music down there. I hear you. That did not go off at all when I was in the closet, listening to the spirit box. It didn't play, it didn't play any music at all. And now that I'm in here alone, it's going off again, just like it was when I was in there with, this, with the music box. That's bizarre. That is so bizarre. So I have this box right here, and this little box will play music like this. See when I turn, See, hear that how that plays? So I turn it to where it's off, and you can use your energy by getting close to it. But for right now, I'm gonna go get the doll that you like. 
And I'm going to move this doll. Here she is. Here's the doll you like. And I'm going to move it into the hallway here. That's me. And I'll let her hold that box, okay? I'm gonna let her hold this box right here. That is crazy, that's still going off. Can you come play with this music with the doll? Right here where that doll is, I gave it a music box of its own. If you grab a hold of that doll, it should play some music for me. Can you do that? It's me probably here. Yep, that's me. Setting off the REM pod with my leg. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Did you come with me? Do EVP. See if that would have more success than the spirit box. Rolling EVP. Ryan Solo at the Murray Homestead, Murray Station Homestead. I'm going to set this right here beside it. How about that? Putting right here. And I'm going to step back. And then you can talk to that. How about, how about that? Is there something that you need help with? Is there something that you're upset about? Marshall told us that when the owner, the new owner, was doing some work sealing up the cabin here, he looked underneath of it and saw bones. Whose bones are those? Are you upset that the new road was brought through and they disrupted the final resting place of the Murray family? Whoever was out there? Can you tell us if you can choose where you went, where you stayed? Did you choose to stay here? Or do you stay here because this is where you passed away? Is your energy trapped here? That's been quiet for a few minutes now. Thank you. So I'm guessing because my yes, no tactic earlier, that means that your energy is trapped here at the Murray Homestead. Well, even though you're stuck here, I hope you like it. Do you like this place? Are you unhappy here then? Do you wish you could leave? Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. This is all going to be passed along to Marshall and the owners. who should be able to help you 
Is that why I kept hearing or I heard someone say, help me? Okay. Well, I'm going to listen back to this now. So if you talked to me, I'll be able to hear your answers along with your confirmation with the music. Ending. Let me go over here. Thank you. Can you please step away from that for me? I'm, I'm going to talk to you again, I promise. I just want to listen to this to hear if you spoke to me. Okay? No EVPs. None. Well, I appreciate you standing back away from that while I listened for that, even though you didn't speak to me on there. You really stepped back away from that and didn't make it go off, and I appreciate it so I could hear. But it seems you like this yes-no response from the music. And like I said... I'm going to pass this along to Marshall and the owners, Brian and Becky, I believe is what Marshall said their name was. And they'll do everything they can to try and help you, but we have to find out who you are. So can you answer yes, no again with that to help me find out? Are there bones buried underneath of this cabin? Are those bones human remains? Were you buried in the cemetery that was disturbed? Wow. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Did they move your remains or did they just push them to the side to divert the creek? Did they, did they move them completely? I should ask that. Yes, no. Did they move your remains completely? So they moved them out of this entire area and now you're trapped here because you can't find where you're buried. Huh. Well, you know, if you're unhappy here, you don't have to. I know you are. You, yeah, you already told me you're unhappy. We'll find someone who can come in here and help you, okay? We'll see if we can find someone to come in here and help you. Be at peace. Whether that be here or whether they help you move on. And I want to thank you for speaking to us and letting me know that. And I'm going to go get Dave now. And I think we have all the information we need. We're going to go ahead and pass this along to Marshall. We're going to pass it along to the owners, Brian and Becky. And we're only here for one night, but they're going to be here for a long time. So they're going to try and, you know, they have the resources. They have the time to figure out how to, how to help you. But thank you. And I hope you find peace. Okay, so that was a little wild. Let me go over here to Dave. Hello. Hello. He's rolling. Yeah. I was just literally just about to come back in and get you turn my lav in. Or turn my lav in. <laughs> I turned my lav on and I looked to my left and I saw you open the door. Well... If you had to guess how that went, how would you say? Mm, slow? No. Really? No. Literally as soon as you stepped out the door and shut that door behind you. Yeah. The paranormal music box started to go off and it continued to go off periodically and it stopped for a good, a good few minutes and I said, well, since you appear to know how to use that, maybe we'll use that for yes, no. And I started to ask yes, no questions. And there were questions that I would ask that it would not go off. And basically through that yes, no, with the music, with the paranormal music box, I determined that, I don't know whether they were a member of the Murray family, but apparently they were buried in that cemetery that was bulldozed when they diverted the creek to build the highway. Mm -hmm. And they said after that happened, they were trapped and they were stuck here. <laughs> really? Yeah. And I asked them, I said, well, are you happy here? Music box was silent. And I said, are you unhappy here? Do you want to leave? And it just went crazy. Really? Yes. I did at one point hear footsteps upstairs when I was in there. I was down in the log cabin section. I could swear I was hearing footsteps walking upstairs. Really? Yes. And so I told him, I was like, we're going to relay this information to Marshall. We're going to relay this information to Brian and Becky, the owners. I believe that's their name. I apologize to them if I got that wrong. But they're in Florida right now, so we didn't get to meet them. And I said, they're going to be here. We're only here for one night. They're going to be here. They own the place. And hopefully they can find a way to help you. So I think that's the best method of action because we don't have the time 
knowledge or resources to try and do any sort of crossing over. No. But I'm sure with all the people that Marshall knows, he might have an idea of who to contact and who to help. Before we did that, we even, I mean, you said that all of the activity that was happening was happening when you were speaking and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to do the solo with you. And then all of that happens when the rest of the night was fairly quiet. Yeah. And besides the REM pod going off upstairs and what happened with ghost tube and everything. But the weird thing was, like I'd mentioned to the camera in there, when you were in there asking questions during the Estes and I was listening, that paranormal music box didn't go off once, did it? Not a single time. And then as soon as you walk out the door and leave, the music box starts going off like, oh good, I get to talk to him again. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, that is bizarre. That is. So, but for now, everyone, we want to thank you guys for watching. This was a very interesting investigation. If you get the chance to come to the haunted Murray Station homestead, we highly recommend you check it out. You support the history of this place, and you should definitely check it out. Do it. Book your night here. Come here. Come check it out. It is pretty cool. Absolutely. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, comment and share. And we'll see you on the next investigation, the next video, the next location on our paranormal quest. Bye. Bye.